What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back. And from Hot 97, Little Wayne says his $150 million Google net worth is incorrect. Now, Little Wayne is an absolute legend for more than two decades now, probably closer to three. He has been a staple in the music industry with his own hit albums and mixtapes. He launched the careers of Nicki Minaj and Drake. He has several classics with Kanye West. He also sort of tacitly came out for Donald Trump, taking a picture with him a handful of years ago. Didn't really receive any backlash for that, but he has been up. He has been down. There was a handful of years where you just could not escape his music. There was another handful of years where he was behind bars after he was already famous. He had some health scares because he was drinking too much lean or something. I mean, he's been famous since he was like 10 or 12 years old. And now he is saying that Google is off base. And I have to assume this has something to do with Baby the Birdman, who he used to call his dad. They famously kissed on television. Rap City, the basement, I believe, back in the late 90s or early 2000s. Then they had their legal disputes, which still might be going on. I don't know. And Baby is notorious for stealing from artists. But they say, during a recent interview with Culture Millennials, Wheezy was asked about his online net worth that read $150 million. Quote, honestly, I'm going to let everybody know now. When you go check someone's net worth and it'd be saying some crazy numbers, I don't have a cent close to that, he explained. Yeah, I don't have that, but I guess they'd be meaning that's what I'm worth. So I always be calling my agent and being like, I'm telling you, bro, I'm going to fire you because I don't need you. I Googled that. You know what I mean? Okay, well, it would certainly be easier to just watch the clip. Let's see what he has to say. The check like, my network. Is it close or is it off or is it? Honestly, the now I'm going to let everybody know now. Yeah. So when you go check fuckers network and that shit be saying some crazy numbers right i don't have a cent close to that shit really right. yeah i don't have that but i guess they be meaning that's what i'm worth so i be always calling my agent like i'm telling you bro i'm gonna fire the shit out you because right. i don't need you <laughs> google let me know yeah. what I, you know what I mean? and he's like no it's not I, true it's I'm not like, true i'm a zillion dollars <laughs> on google bro, so, i wonder but, how they come up with that shit I you mean, know and they smart they are smart, so they know what they're talking about. I just, but how it's do motivation, they... that's all. It's just motivation. Okay. Have a phone call, have a bad conversation with your girl to end with, you ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't really catch all that. There's a lot of bleeping and swearing, I guess. But it is kind of funny that, of course, he is smoking a blunt and he's got his double cup, so that hasn't changed. And like I said, Little Wayne has been famous since he's like 10 or 12 years old. So he's probably always had somebody doing his finances. He probably doesn't know what's happening. And that's no shade of him. It's just like, dude, he's been famous since he was a little kid. So how is he supposed to know? And of course, there is a huge difference between net worth and actual money in the bank, right? A lot of these weirdos think that, well, Elon Musk, you know, is worth 100 billion million dollars or whatever it is. That doesn't mean he he's you know has that under his mattress at the house. That's his worth with you know stock options and all sorts of businesses that he owns. So there's a huge difference there, and I think Little Wayne kind of understands that. And that's not to say he's not filthy rich, but he probably genuinely doesn't know what's happening. And there's probably some people. I look, I don't want to make it super negative, but there's probably some people in his camp that are stealing from him. It happens all the time, right? We just saw that story with Jamie Foxx was targeted, and especially working with Baby. Right. I mean, after baby can steal from him for many years, he probably looks like a target to a bunch of other people, even in his own family. But that's just how dark things get. Right. Kanye West notoriously said he had to pay one of his cousins two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get a laptop back. But that's not what this is about. It continues. The net worth talk comes following a few days after Jay-Z's net worth soared to two point five billion, according to Forbes. Even in a year without a tour or album release, Jay-Z mints million from his Armand de Brig, I don't know, Champagne, Douce, Cognac, the media outlet reported the Brooklyn-born rapper was crowned hip-hop's first billionaire in 2019 thanks to a sprawling and diversified empire. I thought Dr. Dre was the first hip-hop billionaire, but I could be wrong. You know, the Beats by Dre Apple deal was huge, of course, and Dr. Dre had been around since before Jay-Z. But that's not really what this is about. You know, this is about Lil Wayne saying that Google is off base with his net worth, which could be entirely true. I mean, Google, you got to take all that stuff with a grain of salt, right? They're all they're constantly. I mean, Google, Wikipedia, all these places, they're constantly going to, you know, shift the narrative and not, not in a malicious way. It's just like they don't really know what's going on. Lil Wayne doesn't even really know what's going on. How is Google going to know what's going on? But thank you for watching. 
please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.